Art Museum's mission is to connect people through art and ideas that explore a vast range of human experience and expression. We are currently living in an era of rapid ecological change due to industrialization and human consumption, which is often referred to as the Anthropocene. By presenting the exhibition The World to Come, Art in the Age of the Anthropocene at DePaul University in Chicago, we hope to foster greater understanding, especially for shared global concerns that will require creative solutions. We are excited to explore the intersections of art and science and to think of art exhibitions as resources for interdisciplinary teaching to inspire and educate. The exhibition was organized by our fellow academic art museum, the Hearn Museum of Art at the University of Florida. The exhibition occupies the entire museum and features 40 international contemporary artists from Asia, Europe, Africa, North, Central, and South America, working primarily in photography and video. These artists explore our relationships to nature and the environment through a lens of critique, imagination, and curiosity. The exhibition is divided into seven themes, raw material, multi-species and symbiosis, extinction, consumption, justice, deluge, and imaginary futures. The exhibition invites us to consider our individual and collective roles in shaping the world to come. In this gallery, artists explore the depletion of raw materials. Frank Thiel's large-scale photograph depicts a receding glacier in the Patagonian Andes. Elena Damiani's fictitious landscapes merge layers of images of active volcanoes in Hawaii and Mount St. Helens while Sammy Bologi, Richard Moss, and Lou Boleyn consider not only the devastation to the earth, but how mining has triggered inequality, poverty, and conflict. Artists in this section, such as Thomas Struth, Jackie Nickerson, and William Kentridge, explore the many relationships and interactions between humans and non-human beings, such as animals, plants, insects, and machines. This group of artists consider the potential causes of extinction, including pollution, poaching, climate change, habit destruction, displacement, and war. Chris Jordan traces the path of plastic and its devastating impact on ocean birds, for example. While endangered species of trees and plants in remote locations around the world are beautifully photographed by Beth Moon. Here, artists address the consequences of rampant consumption and the risks of an economic system that prioritizes profit at the cost of human suffering and environmental devastation. Yao Lu uses images of landfill to reimagine traditional Chinese landscape paintings as a critique of industrialization and the disappearance of our natural environment. Mary Mattingly depicts the spiritual and material burden of excessive accumulation in her photograph of a nude body under the weight of a boulder of consumer goods. The works on view in this section demand justice for the indigenous peoples and lands of the Amazon basin. While the Amazon is rich in culture and nature, it is also characterized by conflict over resources. Artists Abel Rodriguez, Sergio Vega, and Philippe Jacom recognize the knowledge of local people in their fight to protect their land and lives. The term deluge is both a noun, meaning a severe flood, and a verb, meaning to be overwhelmed by something. The artists in this section, Sandra Cinto, Gideon Mendel, Laurencia Strauss, and the collaborative team Nicole Six and Paul Petrich, engage with the beauty and destructive power of water while calling attention to our roles in extreme weather, global warming, rising sea levels, and floods. What worlds are possible for a vibrant future? In this section, artists Trevor Paglin, Alan Sekula, and Noel Mason unveil both the value and dangers of technology, while Dorneth Doherty and Andrew Yang invite us to look at sources beyond the visible, like seed banks and the cosmos, as sources of hope for the future.